Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on the Hunter Quarter Wild, we're at Reventuli Coast, and I'm going to show you the best location on the map. So when you jump on here, you can get straight into the action. The good thing about this location is it's very open. You can see all the way around it, and not only that, there's loads of species there that you're going to want to hunt. So moose for a start. I've never seen so many moose in one spot especially males it's probably 10 or 15 in this location alone as you can see very well you'll see in a minute it's a perfect moose hunting spot you'll be able to grind them especially if it's a great one moose this would make a good location We've got a female piebald over there not only that white tail come here at white tail drinking time there's probably 40 or 50 white tail around this location so that's another good reason to come here not only that is Kappa Kali I've had some nice Kappa Kali here and I know where there's a diamond one I think at the back end of this location so you've got those as well next we've got Lynx now this is going to be the super Lynx mecha now it really is I do like Medved but this is now the new Lynx mecha it really is I thought I wonder how many Lynx is here so I set the time to need zone time for Lynx drinking, which is 3.30 in the morning to 6 a.m. I come here at five and I've seen 12 Lynx around these ponds. So you can grind Lynx here, moose, white-tailed deer, Kappa Kaylee, there's brown bears here. I've seen geese here, feeding, grouse, mountain hares, there's just so many animals around this, it's unreal. But the lynx really did surprise me how many there were. And it's going to be ideal. So, like I say, you don't even have to put a tent here. You've got an outpost, you just walk straight out onto this. Look, look how many moose there is. It's unreal. It's a really good fun spot. So I'm glad I found this. We'll show you on the map in a minute. And like I say, I'm trying to find the best areas, need zone times. Uh, we'll go over them actually, what I found here. So lynx drink time we just said 3 30 in the morning till 6 a.m i come about half four five let them get here because sometimes they travel a bit um but yeah 3 30 morning till 6 a.m for lynx moose drink time is 12 midday till four so you've got four hours to hunt moose here long time and uh, it's gonna make it very useful white tail drink time here is 8 30 till 12 30 so another four hours kappa kaylee eating 8 to 11 30 in the morning so a lot of those sort of like you could just stay here from lynx and just carry on and, and <laughs> just hunt everything here basically only had the 308 on men it's a bit weak for moose really it will kill them and that's a single lung shot it'll take a little while to bleed out and we'll go and collect it but uh, it's not really ideal for moose so you have to bring out the big the big guns so what else we can find but yeah i spotted a level three kappa kaylee over the back of this area so we're going to try and get that but there you go this drinking zone i mean writing all these down i've got paper everywhere <laughs> i look like that crazy guy off uh what is it on the on the blackboard he's got all papers everywhere i'm sort of like that a minute they're everywhere i'm scanning for him and just writing the need zone times down so if you want to know anything let me know in the comments and i'll try and help you out there's new multi mounts as well we've got four new multi mounts i think there's three with birds there's black bear multi mount now as well we'll take a look at those in the video soon but uh, today i'm showing you this location this hot spot i think it is the best location on moment to the coast um i've been spotting and finding lots of nice animals it's good that you can see through the map and by that i mean visibility shooting lanes I'm not too fond of areas where you just can't see far. I know it's realistic and a lot of people do like high vegetation and you're going deep in there, but sometimes you don't want that. And this speaks volumes because Silver Ridge Peaks is like a perfect example of that and that's why it's everyone's favourite map. It's fun, casual, looks nice, you can see really good visibility wise and it's fun to hunt. And this is like this. So this may become the new Silver Ridge Peaks, the favourite map of all, Reventuli Coast. Also, as I've just said, whitetail hunting is going to be excellent on here. Moose hunting is probably going to be the best map to hunt moose on now. Lynx as well is probably going to be the best map to hunt lynx on. So, as I'm reading them off, you're getting the picture now. 
this is going to become a very popular map. So let's find this moose, shall we? Like I say, I wouldn't use a 308 for moose, really. I can kill him from ranges with it, but it's not really worth it. You want something that's just going to knock it down, really. Let's go over a few of the details, shall we? When's it being released? It's being released 28th of June, so not long now. Where you come from? That's, that's a nice one as well. I've only got the uh, 22 LR on. Got a little bonus here if we get it. Don't miss it, Ron. Yes, that's good. All right, go and collect it. <laughs> so as you can see, there's also Kappa Kaylee as well. Nice little bonus. Go and collect him. And he's led me to the moose. That's what he's waiting for. It's a gold as well. It's nearly diamond. <laughs> But look at this, look how good these look. This is one of my most wanted trophy animals on it. And like I say, I've got a level three right at the back of the map. We're gonna go for that in a minute once we've collected this moose. But look how nice these look, they're stunning. I understand why so many people like these now, because they are gorgeous. But that's a gold, a high scoring gold. Nice little bonus there. Let's go back to what I was on about. So the release date is 28th of June, not long now, only a few days. It's going to come out on all platforms at the same time, consoles, PC. So um, it will be released simultaneously on Steam, Epic Game Store, Windows Store, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And it's going to cost $7.99. So 19 species, brand new map, lots of fixes. There's loads of things people aren't even thinking about. Um, there's so many changes it's going to take a little while for it all to sink in but look how good that looks if it had been a male I would have taxed the demise it but I've got quite a few pie-belled female mooses but it, I just wanted to show you it because how good they look now I think certain animals have had uh, all their fur polished up I've just been in my trophy lodge and I was looking at um, bison and they definitely look a bit more fluffier bears have been reworked they look a lot better now I think the lions have even had the mains fixed as well. So there's a lot of things you don't even realize. And that's besides the map, the 19 new species and all the other changes. So unreal. But that's where we just got the Kappa Kaylee and our moose. And all you do is just walk straight forward and around these, these lakes. And that's the location. I reckon it's the best location on the map. A lot of these top lakes are really good as well. So make sure you check all them out. I will do detailed guides on each species and a proper super guide once I've got all the information dialed in. Now I was looking for this because I spotted this earlier. It's a potential diamond white tear and I was just going to say, and I was saying earlier, that how many white tear there is. It, you could just grind for a great one at this location for a great one white tail. Like I say, if moose turns out to be the great one, the new one, you could do that as well. So you could hunt potentially two great ones here. Um, so it's just superb. It's just great hunting at River Tule Coast. So, but the guides, yeah. Once I've got all the information together, and you you don't get all that together in a couple of days, um, you could put a guide out quick and just say this is. But you're not going to know fully detailed and check every body of water, every location. That takes a little time. So once I've got all that information in, I will put it out. But uh, I just thought I'd show you this location because if you just want to jump straight in, get into the action, this is the spot to be really. So that's why I'm doing it. So here you go. Whitetail drinking needs own time, 8.30 to 12.30. So four hours to hunt whitetail. Imagine. Is it going to be a diamond? I don't think it will. It'll be close. But uh, it's up that sort of way. But look how good whitetail look in the trophy screen now. Definitely a lot better now they've made it sort of like dark on the background. It makes them look more polished. So that's a really nice touch. Right, let's go find this Kappa Kaylee, shall we? He was giving me the run around earlier. I, I, I nearly filled the swear jar, I'm telling you. Basically what happened was I walked to where those whitetail kind of are and uh, I heard a mountain here. And as I looked over, I seen the Kappa Kaylee was eating. And I thought, level three. Level three is for diamond, it's the max level level three. And uh, 
I thought, right, I can't mess this up. But I forgot to put a shotgun on. Um, I didn't even have the 22 LR on. So I came here, well, went back, went and got a shotgun, which I've got now with me, and uh, come back. And every time I come back here to where he's supposed to be eating, he wasn't here, he wasn't coming in. So what I've been doing is I've just been running around in the forest in circles all around this location, trying to spook him to get him to speak so I can hear him, um, his noise, and then like locate him and then get him. And uh, that's what I've been doing. I've just finally heard him two hours later. <laughs> so yeah, he's, he's, he's took a little bit of coaxing. And I'm hoping we can just get him to call out again or fly by. Sometimes if you spook them, they'll fly sort of over your head like turkeys do and um, then blast them. So that's a plan. So I'm hopefully not going to lose any more hair and we can see him. Is that him? And that's a log. <laughs> so I've got my clandestine on, my shotgun. I'm just going to try and spook him. And hopefully we'll get him. Finally. I've been wanting a diamond one of these for so long. I've been just thinking about it. Here he is. Look, he's off again. <laughs> How fast is he? Slow down, man. <laughs> go on, get in here, get in here. You're done. Here we go. <laughs> Finally. So, is he going to make diamond? I don't know if they troll or not. But he is a level 3 Kappa Kaylee and he is a diamond. So, diamond, western, Kappa Kaylee. Here we go. Now, there's something with the scoring with these at the minute. I don't know if it's a wrong decimal point or something, but that's 4.60 and it makes diamonds, right? And as you can see on there, it says 4.64. So I'm just wondering if there's something uh, scoring wise wrong with them or something. But there we go, it says it's a diamond, so we'll take that for now. But uh, there may be changes with this by the time it goes live or there might be a little patch afterwards. But uh, they are absolutely stunning. That's one of the best looking birds in the Hunter Corner Wild. Willow Ptarmigan surprised me as well. Check that video out if you've already seen it. I was hunting those yesterday and uh, we had some really nice variations of those, especially the female ones. They've got some stunning colours to them. Right, so as you can see, it's full. So it's top right hand corner. Just remove this waypoint. There you go. We'll zoom in again. And this is the location you want to be. So you just walk around the lakes just killing things. And there's just so many different species here. I'll go over some of them. You've got, like I say, uh, mountain hares, white tail, lynxes, moose. You've got all sorts here, brown bears. I've seen geese in the middle of the field feeding grouse, capercailers. It's just endless how many animals there is in different species. And the thing is, you can just walk straight out of here. So if you set it up right and do a nice routine, you'll be able to grind most of species at this spot. So it is, like I say, one of the best locations on Reventuli Coast. So let's have a look at the Kappa Kaili. Here we are, Sasiki Swai Trophy Lodge. Dark fur type. I don't know what fur types there is for these yet. I'm sure we'll find them out as a hunting, but there you go. Very pretty looking bird. Love the colours on it. The nice little like fluffy feet. And the turkey style fan tail. Red wattles on the eyebrows. So a turquoise front. The feathers look nice. The trophy poses are good as well. So this is going to be a very popular species. A lot of people are going to be hunting these. What have you seen that you like the best from Reven to the Coast up yet? Drop it in the comments. There's so many things to do and we've not covered many of them yet. There's still so much content to come. And don't worry, I'm busy on it. But yep, yeah, comes out 28th of June. Four days, not, not long now. What are you going for first? Drop it in the comments. And what do you think the new great one is? Let me know. If you want to see anything drop it in the comments i'll try and help you or if you want to know about a need zone time or anything drop that in the comments i'll try and help you out i always try and respond to everyone i see i think that's my favorite pose actually look at that that's stunning but it's been great fun hunting these and the waterfowl now moving up north having a little call around those lakes 
might try and see the northern lights as well have a look at that that's a new thing for Reverend Tooley Coast today we've been looking at the best location on Reverend Tooley Coast I hope it helps you out I'm a Mac please subscribe to my YouTube channels I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching bye bye